So actually just pop that down now for a second and then also bring back in the synthesizer here for a moment. So what we need to do here is get something kind of nice. We've got a sawtooth waveform. It is a bass sound, but let's create a little bit more interest within the sound itself as well. So we can play about with the cutoff, resonance, of course, filter envelope as well. And then let's see how we get on. So we've got an eighth note bass line here. Gonna up the actual tempo. Leave that at 128 beats per minute. And that will be a little bit quicker now. So let's have a little, little go at the bass line here and create something with a little bit more interest. So you can hear just by adding the decay here, we're getting this real nice pluck effect right at the start of the note. So that's going to really help things poke through the mix, so to speak. So Okay, so we've added in a nice little bit of overdrive on that as well. Decay is down. It's making it kind of plucky, but also it's leaving space in there for other sounds that we might want to put in there later on. Okay, so that's our sawtooth waveform. So let's just jump in here for a second and also... Let's grab that and let's move everything up an octave. Okay, so there we go, we've got our square wave. Sawtooth. So I guess if I bring this up here, and I bring this to the middle, it kind of seems to me that this is actually acting like a, a sub oscillator here whenever I bring the mix in. So let's have a little listen to this. Okay. nice as well. It's got a cool sound. So you can hear right away that the actual square wave does sound a lot fatter as well in the bottom end. Okay, so we can see exactly what's going on in that sound now as well. So let's just bring this back to the sawtooth. So you can see in this area here, we've actually lost quite a bit of bottom end. Okay, sounds pretty cool. Happy with that for now, let's just close this down.